Hey everyone, I'm back again with another video, and this one is titled, I think my wife is cheating on me again, and finally decided to ask for divorce. Don't know how to say this to my wife. Please help. Please make sure you like the video and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Let's get right into it. We got married last year. Our first anniversary is coming late July, and she cheated on me with a co-worker on February this year. We talked about it, she absolutely looked and felt sorry, and we even tried to actively do things to learn and prevent that from happening again. She even quit her job. For the last few days, she has been gaming with some friends until very late at night, like 2am, and has been very close to a guy she met online in one game. One day, I decided to open her webcam remotely, without her noticing, and saw her on a FaceTime call with someone, couldn't see her phone, doing naughty faces and waving a lot at the phone. I checked some logs in the router and saw she checked this guy's Instagram a lot, and after checking her phone, had a lot of messages with him. Next day, I decided to look at her phone's backup photos and found some pictures of her in her underwear. I asked if she was taking those pictures because she'd like to or if there's something else. She denied even taking those pictures until I showed them to her. Then, she told me it was because she liked how she looked. I asked her to stop talking to that guy. He doesn't even live in this country, and she doesn't even know him. She agreed, and that same night, she was gaming with him again. At like 2am, I was pretending to be asleep, and she went to the bathroom with her phone. I could hear her doing things behind the door. Saddest part of that is she already cheated on me twice, even before marriage. So this will be for the fourth time it's happening, assuming I'm right. It's pretty obvious that it will never stop now, and I finally accepted it. I don't have any idea of how to say this to her. I don't want her to manipulate me again and just forgive her. I really want to ask for divorce, but don't know if I should talk to a lawyer before or just tell her first. And the first comment says, First, get all the evidence you can. Go to a lawyer. Take their advice on how to proceed financially and property-wise, then serve for the papers. Don't do anything before talking to a lawyer. And the OP replied, thanks, this is the type of advice I'm looking for. How should I act with her in the meantime? And the reply to that says, act like you don't know. Act like you're stressed out with work and keep yourself busy, very busy. Do whatever hobbies you do by yourself, a lot of that. And if she asks why you aren't spending time with her, Tell her you are so stressed and are working it out this way. It's going to be tough, the greatest acting job of your life, but for this to turn out in your favor, do it until you get the go-ahead from the lawyer. And the OP replied, it will break my heart even more, but I would lie to myself if I'd said that's not the way to go. We were actually in the middle of buying a new house and we'll have to act for that part as well. Wish me luck and strength. And the reply to that says, I am so sorry you are going through this. I'm sure you saw her as your future partner, the woman you'd have a family with. But unfortunately, it seems like she has a different idea on how your future looks. Be the mature one, and if you must, I'm not sure if it's the best thing to do, go somewhere safe, go stay with your parents, and say you are staying to help them out with some things. And then, you'll only need to act when on the phone with her. Tell someone you truly trust what's going on, and have them help you. It's hard taking help from loved ones, but you need their support right now. And the OP replied, Yes, I'll consider even a retreat from the house plan for now. I'll make sure it will have some legal implications and don't want to deal with them. I'll lose a lot of money since the mortgage application is already going on, but money can be earned back again. And another commenter said, why did you even marry her? Get out of there as soon as possible, you'll find someone better. And the OP replied, I'm stubborn and apparently very stupid. She was my crush since we were children and spent four years together before marriage. I was just not ready to let things go. And the reply to that says, No, I feel you. I'm kind of like that. I forgave my hubby a lot, but physically cheating and especially already two times before bounding so lawfully Yep, that was kind of stupid. But save yourself. Don't even give her a talk. Don't give her a chance to make more apologies. 
She's probably laughing about you with this dude. Go get a lawyer, get things moving. When everything is done, tell her you want a divorce. Kick her out or you leave, whatever. But don't give her another chance to explain herself. That will hurt her the most. Just tell her it's over. She doesn't deserve the relief of explaining herself. She really doesn't. Good luck to you. You will find someone that loves you, someone that wants you, craves you, you will. And another commenter said, talk to a lawyer first. Then you have an idea of the steps that need to be taken. It gives you a plan out of the marriage. I think it is important you see and know what is coming and believe in that before she can manipulate you. And you have every right to do this behind her back. And the OP replied, this was the part where I needed more advice. I was considering telling her that I wanted to divorce and then getting a lawyer. The part of doing it behind her back, should I pretend everything is okay until then? Like being cuddly and everything? And a reply to that says, it will give you a massive feeling of power to play along, but I don't know if that is who you are. I believe you are a very honest guy, but I think you need to get out of this marriage the best way you can. If that means playing along to gather evidence, etc., please play your part and shine. And the OP replied, I think I will have to just play. I'm a software engineer, so spying on her and gathering evidence is not that hard. Hence that I was able to record her gaming PC remotely, share browsing history, see her webcam access backup photos. It's just that it's absolutely breaking my heart. And the last comment says, her patterns have only reinforced her behavior. Your forgiveness has only allowed her to continue. I am not blaming you, but pointing out that you have accepted her infidelity in the past and her reaction has not been to change her behavior, but only to learn how to modify it and hopefully not get caught. And if she should get caught, then you will still be there. That's not a healthy pattern. I speak from first-hand experience having ended a six-year relationship in a very similar situation. Find a good therapist for yourself that can help you move on. Your situation has caused trauma to you and likely is rooted in past trauma. You need to learn how to recognize this pattern in yourself and knowing why you allowed this will help your future relationships. Since you are married, a lawyer would be a great investment as well. So definitely get that lined up. But first, a therapist can help you work through addressing the separation. A lawyer for the legal side. Sorry you're going through this, man. It sucks, and nobody deserves to feel like you are not enough for the person you loved through such hurt, and would have endured through anything with you. You sound like a good man. You deserve a good woman who recognizes you for that. And the OP replied, thank you very much, I will take care of myself for once. Thank you guys for watching, please make sure you like the video and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any of our future videos and be sure to comment below what other subreddits you want me to cover.